There is one genre of story that I have absolutely been loving recently. However, I don't know what the name of this genre actually is, so I'll just describe it for you guys. I call it modern adult romance drama, and not the 18 plus stuff. Different from the teenage stuff we normally see in anime and manga, this genre has really captivated me recently with its different way of telling stories. I mostly enjoy these types of series on webtoon, but there are some manga that I have enjoyed from this as well. Now, these series don't necessarily need to be all drama all the time, there can be also some comedic moments at times, which is part of what makes this genre so good. When I say adult, I don't necessarily mean full adult. Those are usually better, but the stories that take place in college are also really good, and I would count those in this genre as technically the characters are adults. But anyway, let's give you some more reasons as to why I love this genre so much. One of the main things I love about these series is that they are often more mature than shoujo stories. Not always, but most of the time. Which that makes sense, as the characters are older and more mature people in general. It makes the series that I'm reading way more enjoyable. One of the biggest things that I don't always enjoy in most shoujo stories is the lack of communication in the relationships. We sometimes get that in these series, but nowhere near as much, and it never lasts as long either. The characters in these stories know how to communicate with each other and talk about what needs to be talked about, which moves the story along and makes it better overall. When misunderstandings happen in these series, they are often resolved way faster as well. I know this goes hand in hand with the lack of communication point, but I still thought I would bring it up. Misunderstandings are resolved way faster through the communication that the characters are going through all the time, which again helped move the series along and gets you to the stuff you actually want to see. These stories often cover darker themes, which they can do thanks to the setting and the older characters. I have seen some really dark stuff covered in these stories like trauma or PTSD, which affects the characters throughout the story. There's also talks of SA and the R word fairly often in these stories, which is also fucked. However, these stories do a really good job at handling these topics in a very mature way that makes them feel realistic and makes you feel for the characters a lot. Alongside the darker themes, there's also lighthearted themes that these series cover, like how love can conquer all, the importance of family, and friendship. These things play a very big role in helping the story move along, and they can help the characters in these series grow a lot as well. Without these lighthearted moments in these series, the characters would never realize that life is worth living and then we wouldn't really have much of a story on our hands, which wouldn't be good. All of these things allow for better storytelling. We actually get to see what we want to see and the plot moves forward at a good pace. It is rare that I find one of these series that goes over 100 chapters, and when I do, it doesn't even go over 150 chapters, and that is because they are able to cut to bullshit and get straight to what we want to see, which is one of the biggest things that I really love about these types of stories. We also get to see the characters put in more different types of situations as the stories are more mature. We can see guns, death, and other things that are not really likely to see in a shoujo romance type series. All of these things combine into a really good story and makes these series a lot better. The way that these stories tackle love is very different from how a lot of other romance series tackle love. Because all the characters are more mature in these series, we often get to see a more mature look at love as well. We get less naivety, not that it's completely gone, but there is less of it. The characters know what a relationship entails and they execute on that mindset. There are sometimes misunderstandings and other problems, but they are easily resolved. In these series, we see a partnership and not just a one-sided naive look at love. We also sometimes, depending on the series, get to see some schmecks, which is really spicy but part of a relationship. And yes, I know there are some shoujo series with schmecks as well, but not anywhere near as many and it isn't that spicy either. Love is something that is hard for anyone no matter the age, and these series make sure a lot of people know that it doesn't matter how old you are or how much experience you have, relationships are just hard. Especially when you genuinely love and care for someone like how it often is in these series. The character writing in these series is often really good, especially from the protagonists. I don't know if it's the series I read, but it can't be a coincidence that every one of the series I read has a badass main character that doesn't take shit from no one and can stand up for themselves. Like, that could just be the series I stumble upon, but I don't know. I think this is a common trend among these series and I absolutely love it. Women can be independent of their boyfriends or husbands and can handle their shit, but if they need help, they should not hesitate to ask. Which is where a lot of misunderstandings in these types of series come from. A lot of these women try to handle things themselves and it doesn't always go well. Sometimes it does, but not always. And that often leads to situations where their partner misunderstands the situation and we get the drama. Speaking of partners, most of them have pretty good backstories and are decent characters. Just like the main characters, they get a decent amount of development throughout the series. However, there are some things that I don't like about some of these guys. Sometimes these guys need to stop worrying so much about their partners and just to have a little more trust. Like, worrying is fine. I know I just said it wasn't, but what I'm talking about is taking that worry way too far and pushing your partner into an uncomfortable situation because I have read a few series like that. 
These issues get resolved as the characters develop throughout the series, but it still leads to some moments that I'm not too fond of. The side characters in these series don't usually have much going for them aside from being a friend of the main character or main guy, but they are often used as support for their respective characters and although they don't usually get much in the way of development, their personalities are always usually great. They're either funny or they are very understanding of a situation and very supportive. Sometimes they can push the main character to handle her business with her mans and those moments are usually pretty funny but also mark a pivotal role in most of these stories. The antagonists in these stories are usually pretty similar. It usually is some jealous step-sibling or parent or some crazy ex. These characters are often portrayed as way too fucking crazy to be any functioning member of society, but they push our main characters closer and often make for some really good moments as we watch these characters ruin their own lives by being absolutely insane. I know for the most part I wasn't talking great about the characters in these series, however I like the character writing in most of these series. It focuses on the main characters and has other characters mostly used for support which I personally like. We're reading a romance series, we want to see the main romance so that is often what we focus on which is fine. The antagonists of these stories are a bit much sometimes but seeing the main characters have to overcome a psycho like that is always a fun read. These types of series are great. I have yet to find a series like this that I didn't really enjoy. I'm sure there is one out there that exists, I just haven't found it yet. These series just have everything I look for in a good romance series and that is why I love them so much. So if you want to check some of these types of series out I will give you a list of some good ones, most of which you can find on the webtoon app so it is easy to access. A good one to start with that is more on the comedy side is Let's Get Divorced. There is also Perfect Marriage Revenge which is also very good. Marry My Husband is absolutely incredible series which I definitely recommend. My Irresistible Ex was a really good series. There Must Be Happy Endings is similar to Perfect Marriage Revenge but is still really good. The Nuna at Our Office is a really good series with some of the most mature takes on romance I have ever seen. And lastly, one of my personal favorites, Age Matters, which is a really good series about how you are never too old to fall in love and it is also a great read. Those are some series that can get you started on your journey into this genre if you have never read anything like it. And if you have, I hope you were still able to get some good recommendations that you haven't read before. Today's newspaper, well it's not as far-fetched as it may seem. In fact, both local San Francisco papers are investing a lot of money to try and get a service just like that started. Science editor Steve Newman reports on one person already using the brand new system.